Happy lunch hour, guys. Why is it that all the people in the country are going, hmm, how can I get out of debt? All the com companies in the country are going, hmm, how can I get out of debt? Why is it that we're all tightening our belts, companies are tightening their belts, doing less purchasing, doing less spending, and the government goes, can you raise our credit limit? This is how insane it is, okay? You know, we have to go back and remember, they work for us. They're supposed to do what we say, okay? It hasn't been talked about much at all in the last few months about the fact that we crossed the debt limit back in January, that you know the, the debt ceiling was at $31.4 trillion, and that come July, there's a high risk of, if we don't raise the debt ceiling, that the government defaults on its debt, okay? Basically meaning that we can't pay the interest, the country can't pay the interest on the treasury bonds, treasury bills, basically any money it's borrowed, okay? That gets scary. This happened to us in 2011, and the U.S. credit rating got dropped from AAA to AA+. Plus. Okay, it was the first time in history, thank you Barack Obama, that we had the U.S. credit rating dropped. Could it happen again? Yes. Just to give you an idea, if we get down below triple B, okay, then we went up in junk territory. Then we are officially an economic banana republic. But this is where it gets really stupid, all right? The Republicans, if you want to consider them that, I, well, I'll say they're Republicans, they're not conservatives, okay? But the Republican Party is willing to increase the debt limit by one and a half trillion dollars in exchange for a bunch of spending cuts, okay? Now, we'll get into that in a second. Biden and his administration came out this morning and said, spending cuts are off the table. We're only increasing the, the debt limit. No, Joe, we're not, okay? You can say that till you're blue in the face, but I think the majority of Americans would rather see a government shutdown because you guys don't do anything productive anyway than us to borrow more money, put the country further and further in debt, and just accelerate the speed at which we're going downhill, all right? There was a survey that was done, okay? And I know how everybody likes polls, okay? 60% of Americans say that we that the government spends too much money. I want to know who the other 40% are to go, yeah, it's okay. Okay. But so the question went a little bit further, and this is where it gets very interesting. 69%, the, high, the, the highest percentage of anything when they asked specifically where we spend too much money in, 69% of those 60% said we spend too much money on funding assistance for other countries. No shit, Sherlock. Okay, we got to take care of ourselves before taking care of anybody else. Okay. Better than two-thirds of the people say we spend too much money sending it to other people, primarily those countries that hate us anyway. Okay. Uh, the number two one, 41% said we spend too much money on assistance for big cities. Uh, and then it just drops from there. 29% says we spend too much money on the military, 25 on the environment, aid for the poor is 18%, yada, yada, yada. It goes down. I mean, you can take out everything eventually, okay? But the biggest, the biggest one was on funding assistance to other countries. Let's look at what's going on with Ukraine. Anybody catch what came out of NATO this morning? This is going to throw you a curve. All the NATO countries, we're one of them, remember, agree that Ukraine will become a NATO of, uh, of NATO once the war ends. Who's paying for the war in Ukraine? You and me, okay? You know, 
they can say, oh, England is, or oh, Brit or, you know, Germany is, or something. They, they pay it squat. You add up all the other, all the other countries combined, and they don't, they don't spend as much as the United States is in Ukraine. Okay, this is our war. This is Joe's war against Russia. Okay. Yeah, there's a little problem because what did the other thing that NATO came out and said this morning? Prepare for a long war against Russia. Gee. So let me see if I get this straight. We're preparing for a long war, which is going to be very expensive, that we are funding while we are on the verge of default on our debt. And the way we're paying for this war is by borrowing money that the people don't want to do. <laughs> Following me here? Okay. I don't care... It, it, if Ukraine wants to join NATO, great. Ukraine can join NATO as long as the United States gets out. Ukraine is not our ally. Okay. The Republicans have put a bill up, like I said, to increase the, the debt limit provided there's spending cuts. Joe is adamant that there's not going to be spending cuts. So Joe is adamant that we are going to stay in war. Personally... I hope to God the Republicans dig their heels in and say, absolutely not, unless there's spending cuts in, we're going to shut it down. Blame us if you want. We put a proposal up that the people wanted, okay, and you said no. The blame falls squarely on Joe's shoulders. You know damn well, just as well as I do, that the media will blame the Republicans. They wouldn't let Joe have what he wanted and everything like that, and therefore they're shutting down. Remember what happens in a government shutdown, guys, okay? The national parks get closed. The non-essential entities of the government get closed, which is pretty much, in my opinion, every three-letter agency in the government, you know, that gets closed. You know, who cares? Social Security still gets paid. The military still goes to work, okay? Though they may not get paid, that's a problem, okay? You know, the government employees all get put on furlough, but when the, when the furlough is over, they get all their back pay. So they're going to get, so all they get is a free paid vacation. Government employees are going, please shut it down. I want a couple of months off, whatever it would be. This is how FUBAR this all is. And this is how it's going to affect us. Everybody goes, okay, you know, how do I protect myself against it? Well, good luck, because if we get more raise the debt limit, inflation continues to go up because borrowing more money slash printing more money is basically what they're going to do. That's more inflation. Okay. A government shutdown is disinflationary. So you want to bring inflation down? Hey, there's a good idea. Let's stop spending money. Gee, how many times have we heard that one? You know, historically, gold and silver are not a safe haven from uh, a debt crisis. Uh, you know, every other time we've had it, even when we've had shutdowns, uh, the price of gold and silver has actually dropped. It doesn't mean that's what's going to happen this time, but that's a possibility. But what, you, what this is inevitably leading us to is a deeper, deeper, deeper recession. If they raise the debt limit and we don't get the spending cuts, inflation goes up, the recession gets worse, and we get closer and closer and closer to a depression. It's going to be very interesting because politicians sure as hell don't seem to be worried about this. Why? Because they've got all that dark money coming in from all these other places. You know, Joe and his $30 million, okay, coming in. They don't care. But you and I, we're going to be the ones that are going to pay for it at the grocery store, at the hardware store, at the shoe store, at the gas station, whatever it would be. The services you need, not necessarily available, okay? If it's not, you know, if it's not essential, it's not available. Why is it that the people are tightening their belts, corporations are tightening their belts, sure as hell Main Street mom and pa kettle stores are tightening their belts, 
And the government's only answer is, let's spend more money. Oh, that's right. That's how communism works.